Hi, and welcome back to part four of our spring holiday canvas. We are, we are um, getting ready to put the last step on, which is putting, cutting out a paper bunny, a bunny and putting it on our canvas. So let's get started. So I traced out or printed out a pattern for the bunny traced it out and grabbed um, a piece of scrapbook paper and we are going to trace the bunny onto the piece of paper and cut it out and Mod Podge the bunny onto the canvas. And um, we're gonna put a little bit of um, some paper cutouts. I cut out like a butterfly and some florals. So we're gonna add some embellishment touches and then we will be done. Okay. So we're gonna just trim this out real quick. And get the bunny ready to go. And normally, I would glue the bunny onto the canvas and then I would sand paper, I would sand it before or after I glued it on. But um, because I already have so much texture on my canvas, I don't want to um, take off too much of the modeling paste with my sand block. So I'm going to pre-sand this bunny before I glue it down. And I'll show you how I do that. Okay, this is just a simple bunny cutout from the online. I'm going to take a sanding block and I'm going to just sand the edges. Um, I could do it on this piece. I have to do it on something because you don't want to sand on your your Tim Holtz mat <laughs> on your silicone mat you do not want to do that so I'm just sanding so I can rough up the edges so I can bring that white core paper to the front and I just like a distressed bunny anyway And I'm really, really, really pushing hard because I like the distressed look. Okay. So now we have our bunny and we're, we're going to go ahead and adhere our bunny to our canvas. And um, my husband and I went out shopping, so we came back. And so the, it, I'm doing this at night where the light's not so good. So I'm sorry that this video is not the best. Um, but I wanted to get this done and um, and completed so I can share it with you. So I was like, I will just quickly do it. So you're going to go ahead and put some Mod Podge on your paper. Or you can put it on the canvas. I'm doing it on the bunny because I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put it. So I put some Mod Podge on there. And I'm going to put him right about there and just spread him out okay and then you just take your Mod Podge okay try and get it so you can see and then just go ahead and seal the bunny right on to the canvas and you got a lot of texture so you may have to like really push down on the bunny because you got a lot of texture with all that modeling paste and paint and paper. As you can tell why I have this brush as my glue brush because it I really push hard. Um, that's too much. I push hard on my... And you can take your finger and go in there because there's a lot of bumps. It's really important to use your finger and to push down as hard as you can um, to make sure that there's a good adhesion. All right, so there it is. There's our bunny, okay? So now I die-cutted, or I printed off some florals. So I'm gonna put 
I think I'm going to put a couple florals on one of his ear, one of her ears, because she's a she, because she's got florals. Um, and I have a couple roses, and which way do I want to put that? Yeah, like that. I'm going to put a couple florals down just to give, I'll show you. So here's the florals, okay? And then I cut out a butterfly, a blue butterfly, and he's going to go right on there with the floral florals. Just like that. And there you have it. And that's our finished canvas. Now, we're going to put a layer of um, Mod Podge over the whole thing. And then once it dries, I'll go back with a Stabilo pencil. Uh, let me see if I can find it here, right here. A Stabilo pencil. And I will shade around the bunny. And that's it. Completed project. Um, how excited. I am excited. It's fun. And now you could do, I'm going to take a layer of Mod Podge and seal the whole canvas. Um, this helps protect it. It helps um, protect it like you can dust it with, I've dusted with Pledge before. I mean, spray Pledge on a cloth and wipe your canvas with a cloth. Um, but I really, really, I, this step is awesome. Or you can buy the sealer, like the spray sealer from like Walmart or an art store. Um, it's a spray varnish and you can uh, spray protect your canvases. Um, I probably, for if I was gonna sell this, I would buy the spray and spray a layer of that on after this all dried just for extra protection. That's just who I am. Um, And that's it. We are done. Our little Easter springtime uh, bunny um, altered canvas is done. So thanks for joining me. Um, I hope you make one. Have a great day.